What's up everyone and welcome back to Trailer Town, where today we'll be analyzing the newest trailer and screenshots released for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which officially reveal all of the Koro Koro leaks that we've been getting over the past few days. That means Mega Metagross, half of the gym leaders and Elite Four, Pokemon Ami's glorious return, and more, so let's get to it. First up, we get a look at the gym leaders of the Hoenn region, starting off with Big Daddy Norman in the Petalburg Gym, which looks to work the exact same as it did in the original games. The player has a choice between two doors with trainers inside of each of them with their own methods of battling. The Rustboro City Gym, as we saw about a month ago, looks a lot better visually, but the layout of the obstacles remains the same. Helix Fossil? Roxanne returns as the schoolgirl gym leader with her nose pads, of course, and a rocking attitude. <laughs> now heading into the Duford Town Gym, we can spot major differences in the gym design here, since using the Flash HM is no longer the key gimmick of the puzzle here. It looks like you'll be stepping on switches that change the layout of the platforms, but the trailer cuts off right before we can see how it'll really work, just know you'll be fighting trainers. Duh. What we do get to see more of though is Brawly's room, and he is putting in some work. The official Pokemon site confirms that he's still a hardcore surfer, disproving my theory that he was gonna be a cyclist now, and I mean really, who's gonna go cycling in these things? Brawly will also still use Makuhita as his ace Pokemon to take on challengers in his... Gym... Gym... Gymception... Joke... Like the first two, the Mobile City Gym is pretty similar to its original design, with electric gates blocking your path as you head to the gym leader, Grandpa Watson, and he is happier than ever in 3D graphics. Seriously, nothing you do can stop this guy from smiling. Now my personal favorite gym from Ruby and Sapphire, the Lava Ridge Town Gym, also returns with the same puzzle, so watch out for those pitfalls. Hiya! So that's it for gym leaders as far as this trailer goes, and a few people were thrown off the loop with the order that they're actually shown here since Norman was the first one, but the order in which you challenge the gyms in the game will remain the same as the originals with Norman being numero cinco. We can confirm this with the Pokemon website which says his ace Pokemon is still slacking, and that would be way too difficult if he was the first gym leader of course. And just a by the way, Torkoal and Magneton will also remain as the ace Pokemon for Bay, I mean Flannery, and Watson respectively. Moving on, just like we've now seen half the gym leaders, we have half of the Elite Four revealed starting with Sydney, who has a regular watch on, not a Megastone like a lot of people speculated. This man is styling though and is backed up by his style in Pokemon as he uses Dark types, my second favorite Pokemon type overall. Phoebe is also revealed in this trailer like we saw in Koro Koro and a lot of people speculated that she might have a Megastone hidden on her little ankle thingy. Of course, here we can see she doesn't have one. What we do see, though, is Dusk Noir, improved from her having Dusclops in the original game since, well, back in those games, Dusk Noir didn't exist yet. In the original games, Phoebe also had two Bayonets on her team, and I'm not saying it because I think she'll have Mega Bayonet, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of those two Bayonets is replaced with a newer Ghost Pokemon, since I always thought it was kind of lame that she had two of the same, and not many other gym leaders or trainers have that. The final character to appear, not in the trailer, but on the Pokemon website, is Champion Steven, officially confirmed to be the Champion of Hoenn now. The trailer seems to have purposefully left out the last three gym leaders, Winona, Tate and Liza, and Wallace, as well as the other two Elite Four members, Glacia and Drake. This was probably just so that there's still some info to show off in the upcoming months until the game's release, but there's always the possibility that someone could be swapped out here, I'm looking at you, Wallace. There can only be one water-type gym leader. Alright, enough of that. Let's move on to the second half of this trailer, beginning with Pikachu likes to cosplay? Is this some kind of contest haul? Well, neither of these questions are actually answered for now, but the site does state that they will, or we will learn exactly what is up with this Pikachu dress-up game next month. I'm not sure that I really care to find out, but hey, if Pokemon contests do return, that means Wallace can go do that instead of being a gym leader, and then a real man can step in to handle the water gym. 
Seriously though, Pokemon and me is confirmed to return and you can even pet these strange Pikachu cosplayers with five of them being revealed so far. Pikachu Rockstar, Pikachu Bell, Pikachu Popstar, Pikachu PhD, and Pikachu Libre. The only thing that I can point out from this information is that each outfit represents the five classes of Pokemon contests that you can do. Cool, beauty, cute, smart, and tough, so Pokemon contests are definitely coming back one way or another. The next part of the trailer shows off secret bases once again, and I've already done an entire video on the return of this amazing feature, so be sure to check that one out if you haven't. There's no new news about them here, but it does show off our first gameplay footage, our first actual gameplay look of how you can customize your base, and of course how you can even set it up to create your very own Pokemon Gym. Like I said, much more detailed information regarding this feature is in my other video, so be sure to check that one out. Last but certainly not least is the official reveal of Mega Metagross with details on his ability, stats, and design. Mega Metagross looks like a crazy alien ship with eight arms, which we can see clearly now. Four of them are hidden in the back and look kind of like rockets to propel him faster. Upon Mega Evolving, he will indeed gain the ability Tough Claws, which will boost his physical contacting moves like Meteor Mash seen here in the trailer, as well as Bullet Punch and Zen Headbutt to name some notable ones that this ability will affect. As predicted, his speed stat will be greatly increased, and the site states that all of his stats will be better balanced, which really means that they're giving a boost to every single one of his other stats making him good offensively and defensively. Mega Metagross looks like a beast and has the stats to back it up, so get ready to see this guy crushing faces when these games come out. That concludes the trailer, but I did want to bring up another Mega Evolution here at the end that is more information has come out of on the website, and that is of course Mega Diancie. As we saw earlier, Diancy will be soon available to get in Pokemon X and Y, and the Mega Stone for it will be an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Mega Diancy gets rid of the impurities its body had as a Diancy, whatever that means, and obtains a great increase to the speed stat. In exchange for losing some defense and special defense, Mega Diancy also gains a ton of attack and special attack power, making it a fast mix sweeping Pokemon and even gets the ability Magic Bounce. The Pokemon site also shows off the signature move of Diancy and Mega Diancy, a rock type move called Diamond Storm. And that is finally going to be it for this video. So much news and information was shown off in this trailer and on the website. My brain is about to explode. I absolutely love the visuals of this game. It's similar to X and Y, but something about it makes it feel so much more charming to me. I think the gym leaders in Elite Four just all have an extra charm to them. Something X and Y was really lacking to make the characters more memorable. The gym interiors definitely represent the personalities of the leaders very well, and the Elite Four rooms feel a little plain, but at least they got chairs! Alright, that's gonna do it for me. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends if you are excited for a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I personally cannot wait to get my hands on these games and get to play through Hoenn once again, my favorite region. Without a doubt, this is the most excited I've ever been for new Pokemon games. 10 times more than X and Y even. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned for more videos in the future, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!